Welcome to an ACM quick tip video. This lesson will be on learning the basics of a pivot table. A pivot table is used to quickly summarize data and turn it into meaningful information. They provide a means to effectively explore large sets of data interactively and create quick, concise reports. To start, go to the Insert tab, then click on Pivot Table. It has all the data selected already, and yes, we want it on this page, so we click OK. Now from here, it's really up to you on how you want to view your data. There's nothing wrong with trial and error. If you move something in one of these boxes below, you can easily uncheck it or move it to another area. In this case, we wanted to show the sum of beds and baths. Then we wanted to break that down and view it with price per square foot, so we simply add that to the rows box. Let's say we want to get another perspective of this data. We can sort these columns from cheapest to most expensive. To do that, simply right-click within the pivot table, then click Sort, and select Smallest to Largest. Now to analyze this data even further, we bring down the town data into the filter box. This allows us to select a specific area now, and it only provides the homes from that area. You can even add the listing price for a better picture. I'm sure you're starting to realize, but this tool is great for analyzing the data from different perspectives. Now we can easily scroll through the homes listed in a specific area and be able to identify deals that meet our criteria. If you're presenting this information to a team, it could always help to make it look better. To change the design, click within the pivot table. Then it will display the tabs Analyze and Design on the top. You can go to Design and choose whatever style works best for you. The Analyze tab comes with many options as well. You can move the pivot table by selecting the Action button and selecting which cell you want it moved to. And if you want to start all over, you can go to Select, Entire, Pivot Table, and hit Delete. Don't forget to hit the Like button and subscribe for more Excel videos. Comment below and tell us what Excel issue you're facing, and we'll be glad to help.